Hello, and welcome to PCI's DEM Editing Best Practices video guide series. In this video, we are going to go over best practices for DEM editing of complex terrains. Our main objectives in this video include performing a terrain filter on very steep complex slopes, we will be introducing our stabilizer polygon concept, and then verifying the accuracy. To begin, we're just going to open up our DEM in focus. We're going to select the DEM and we're going to go to Layer DEM Editing to bring up our editing interface. Now one good idea in this case, as I'm working with a low resolution monitor here, I'm just going to change, I'm just going to click on the control panel to turn this off, which gives me more canvas to work here. I can use the mouse wheel button to pan and zoom, and then I can use the display DEM button to switch between the two layers, the DEM and then the resulting uh, mosaic, the quick mosaic that was put together as a reference. So what we have here is an area where we filtered majority of the region, but we lift this area here to show you how we can filter very complex steep slopes, filter out these features without negatively affecting these slopes here. So we want to keep this as intact as is possible. So like anything, we're going to start off our editing by creating a polygon layer an editing layer. I switch back to my DEM and I'm going to click on the new polygon tool here and I'm going to draw a polygon that outlines the area that we wish to edit. So this is the same as we taught in our first video or the first chapter of this series. So we have a, a special operation here that's more tuned for these kinds of slopes so we can switch this to the terrain filter rough. So when you're working with rough terrain particularly terrain along this edge, then it can be better to use this filter as it's a little bit more sensitive to the terrain slope. Now we're working with high resolution imagery. We're going to set our size to a large value to get rid of our houses, perhaps a value around 200. We keep our gradient as it is, and this is measured in pixels. So then we can click apply at this point. So as we can see, it's done a very good job of removing our features. It did a very good job of maintaining the edge or the uh, the cliff, the embankment. However, over in this section over here, it looks like it did some over filtering. So let's just take an inspect. Let's just go and inspect this area here. So if I draw our one to one window around it, and then I use our flicker back and forth tool, I can see that it's quite stable in majority of the areas. However, it definitely did over filter this region as we have this part moving back and forth. So what we're going to want to do is to show you how to handle these kinds of condition. So we're just going to stop that flicker back and forth option. We're going to undo the edit. That's the first thing we're going to work on. But we're just going to keep this because I like having this back in there. It's still based on what was generated originally. So we can see where in this feature is actually moving. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use the polygon tool on this window and I can use it back and forth and I'm just going to draw kind of roughly around the areas that's moving and I can turn that off just to make it a little bit easier but I want to avoid the surface features such as trees and bushes here and I don't need to be very accurate overall in terms of how I draw my polygon so we got that we got this feature over here so we're just going to draw this area about it out a little bit more, and I'm creating these. What we're these uh, what we call these are stabilizing polygons, as they stabilize the area when we perform our terrain filter. Okay, and then we can do the same for our area up here. So now, when we go through this, what we're going to do is I'm going to click again. I'm going to click on my selection tool, click on our main polygon, and now I have all these little mini stabilizers here. So I can rerun this filter. So I'll take the terrain filter. I'm just going to apply it again. You click regular apply so it does not apply it. It's under here. And now we can go in and take a peek to see how we did in these areas. So we can just draw the one to one tool or actually we already have it open. So it's unnecessary. And we're just going to regenerate the orthos in this region. Now we can flicker back and forth, and we can see we have a far more stable region here. 